Hello, folks, and welcome back to XCOM 2. As always, of course, I am Falcon, your host, and welcome back to the Resistance. Now we have a council mission here, Operation Diamond Face, to extract a VIP from Advent City. And this VIP happens to be an engineer, which is very useful to us. And we're going to get some intel out of it as well, which is also very useful to us. I'm going to go ahead and launch this mission. Unfortunately, we are down a person. Um, out of our maximum number of eight people that we can have right now, we only have seven. So that is a problem. It'll be an even bigger problem if we take some, some casualties in this mission because it's going to be a while before we get any of the other ones who are hurt back. So if I lose some people to injuries, or even worse, just straight lose people, we could be screwed. <laughs> Um, it is worth noting, this is the first time I have played the game, especially the first, first time I've recorded the game, since it has been patched. Uh, now it was patched about a week ago, there have been episodes since then, but those episodes were pre-recorded some time ago. Uh, this is the first new episode that has is after the patch, that is a primarily a performance patch. Um, so some things may work a little bit differently, some things may work worse, who knows, because these things happen sometimes. Hopefully everything works better. We're gonna see. We might see some things we haven't seen before. Uh, I know one thing that I've had to do is fiddle with the volume controls, because apparently the game forgot what volume settings things were on, uh, and seems to continuously do, do so. Now it feels sounds fine. But when I was just in here to, um, looking at the squad a second ago, before I started recording, um, the volume was, like, maxed out. And I went in, and the, all the volume settings were still where they were supposed to be. And I just kind of fiddled with it and actually loaded it a little bit again. And now it sounds more like where it should be, so it seems to be having some sort of issue remembering where the volume settings are actually at. Alright, the very first thing that we need to do... Uh, I need to find one of my rangers, not wildling. Uh, I guess you can do it. Uh, oh, you have a mimic beacon. You have the mimic beacon already, never mind. I was gonna say we need to give him a mimic beacon, but you already have it. So we have two rangers. Boom, and wildling is gonna be a scout, of course, as usual. Three sharpshooters, because that's just what we got. We do have our healer, thank god. And a grenadier. So... You know, we do have some firepower on the field. Hopefully that's going to help us out. I guess we'll see. I don't really know how well this will or will not work. So, uh, I don't know. I'll see you folks in the mission. Uh, let's get Operation Diamond Face underway. And here we go, folks. Menace one five, so there's our extraction point on top of a, the of a building. To the I hate when they're on top of buildings. <sighs> it's bullshit. I'm sure I could contribute something. Advent already to knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed yeah, yeah, for yeah, the extraction. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, it is also possibly worth noting that I am still sick. Um, it's just like a head cold or something but it probably does affect the sound of my voice and my ability to speak in general. So, just so you folks are aware of that. If I sound a little strange, or if I occasionally have some problems talking, where I may not have normally done so, that's probably the reason. Uh, let's see. What? Uh, it's also been a while since I played the game, so it's, it might take me a minute to get myself reoriented and have some sort of an idea what the hell I'm doing. Oh, I just realized you are not in stealth, which means we probably need to have Wildling go forward. Um, that's the building. Do we go through this building? I don't usually go through buildings because they're uh, obnoxious to get through, <laughs> but it might actually be worth doing so this time at least uh, because we again we uh, really really cannot afford to take a 
um, losses this time. I mean, that's, that's, you know, we can't normally afford to take losses, but that's, this is a far more, even more than usual, we can't afford to take losses because uh, we do not have the uh, strength to Got it. sustain losses in the law, just in general, with our force. Enemy so it is really more important than usual that we not take casualties. So if I can avoid combat to some extent, that would probably be amazing. It's probably not going to be a possibility, but if I could somehow do it, I probably should. Alright, I probably should... Oh, let's see. Quick draw, return fire, and squad sight. Uh... You are all are my people. You have dead eye. Okay. Fortunately, your dead eye shot fucking sucks because again, as I've said before, the accuracy of snipers in this is a, leaves a hell of a lot to be desired. In comparison to um, the first game enemy unknown. Anytime I say that kind of those kind of things, I am comparing it to the original game. Well not you know, the the original remake. <laughs> not, of course, to anything else. Uh Oh, I don't want to leave you in out of cover. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. Okay, All right, I'm, I'm, I'm. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! All right, whatever. I, I can't really afford to leave you out of cover. I just can't. Uh, you can't take losses here, and leaving people out of cover is a good way to take losses. So, all right. So you don't have a lot of health. So you need to be probably need to be extra special cautious with you. So let's move you over there and hunk you down. Uh... Crap. Yeah. Problem is, these guys, a very good chance these guys are going to move but they're going to be flanking me. Very good chance of that. Uh, in fact, I would say it's probably the next best thing to uh, guaranteed. So I am going to have to be a little bit careful and certainly cautious or uh, conscious, rather, of that fact. I also don't remember what these people have going for them because it's been so quite a while since I played. That's why I'm looking at their stuff. Okay, you're the one who has shredder. So you're not. I do not apparently have the one who can do the run and still be in Overwatch. So it's probably better. We have plenty of time. So it's probably better if I just move slowly here. And uh, attempt to position my people in such a in such a way that we can counter these guys when they come out. What is that? Oh, it's lightning hands. Could use the Mimic Beacon, but I don't really want to do that because... Well, honestly, for pretty, ob for, for pretty obvious reasons. Let's, let's be real here. Uh... Let's be real here. There's pretty obvious reasons why I don't want to do that. That gives you full cover, but it will reveal them, almost certainly. Which obviously is not a good idea. Yeah, you'd be revealed if you went. Go 
go almost anywhere in there, you're gonna be revealed. Well you won't get to shoot, but I think I'm gonna move you there. Because if you're there... Really? They can't see you! Oh, fuck you, game. That is bullshit. That is one of those bullshit kind of situations. Come on, focus! You can't fucking see him. God damn it. On the plus side, you almost killed the guy, so there's that. There's that. On the negative side, I don't think anybody else can fucking shoot him. Although, he'll probably do his shield thing. Uh, which actually... Could work out well for us. Uh, unfortunately, you probably can't hit the broad side of a fucking barn. Where you are right now. Okay, what kind of range do you have on this? Um... Okay, okay, I see some possible potential here. If you move there, might be able to, number one, might be able to remove his cover, and number two, might be able to just straight up kill the guy. Okay. I think we just do that. Kills him. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't remove that guy's cover. I should have fiddled around with it to see if I could, but oh, he's retreating. Uh, that's actually bad because I don't want him. I do not want him to go and join up with another group. Oh well, this is nothing I can do about it now because <laughs> he he gone. So carry on then. Uh, you are one of my pistol ears. What about you? You... Actually, I'm kind of building all of these guys as pistol ears, really. Uh, you do have dead shot, though, so I think I'm gonna send you up top. I'm gonna send all my snipers up top, actually. It's probably smarter. Just send them all up top. Send everybody up top. All three of you, go up top. Uh, once you're up there, I should be able to... If I get them all positioned all the way up... Oh. Oh, civilians. Whatever. Okay, okay. I don't care about no damn civilians. Uh, how's the other sniper? There you are. But yeah, anyway. If I set all of the snipers up top here... Um... It should give me an opportunity to position them all in such a way that I can... Okay, I do not want you to be revealed, so I need to leapfrog you forward so that I can do my best to avoid uh, running headlong into somebody. Moving to designated position. That would be stupid! Okay, apparently we're clear through most of the building at this point. Uh, we do know that that guy went through that door, so where he went after that, I don't know, but it's probably out there somewhere. Almost certainly out there somewhere. I'm on it. Now, I do know from experience that despite uh, the fact that, you know, technically he should only be able to run so far, the game does sometimes decide to kind of screw you over on that one and uh, kind of teleport them a little bit. Doesn't always do it. But it does sometimes, and you have to be Shut careful of that and Shut aware that it can happen. Doesn't mean it will, but it can happen. And obviously if it does, it's a problem. Okay, so we need to be careful with you because you obviously are the objective. If you die, that's Clearly a problem. Copy that. Okay, so I'm just gonna move you there. Make sure you uh, can't. You'll be an Overwatch, but I'm actually okay with that. Oh, oh hi! Where do you think you're going? I'm still holding. Okay. 
Oh, well, we saw him for a second. Only for a split second, but... Hey, getting a piece of him before he can retreat to uh, his friends. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Oh. And now, the problem. Where to move you? Hostile targets in sight. Oh, hi. Okay. Well, clearly I don't want to move you much much further up. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I kind of wanted to, but... I wanted to, but I clearly can't. Pretty sure there's nothing on this roof. Could be wrong. But I'm gonna go on a limb and uh, assume that there is. Oh, there's nothing on the roof, but there is somebody who can see me. Shit. Oh, that could actually be a problem too. They might end up revealing Scout. They didn't. Why didn't they? Why don't? Why can't you see him? Oh, you're just not quite close. Oh, you actually have a uh, cover face in that direction. I didn't even notice that. That's good. That's good. Actually, that's very good. Uh, that's a problem. Because <laughs> this is, this is a problem. Alright, um, the mech is the main problem here, but, uh, unfortunately, oh, damn it, really? Neither of you can see anything? Fuck. Uh, shit. And you are not going to be able to do enough damage with just your... Oh, I mean, you know something I might be able to do? Which I just realized. Where is my... Grenadier? What kind of build... What is... What, what do we... What do we got here? Ah, oh, yes. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that right there will blow out the ground underneath the mech. It'll damage the mech from the explosion itself. It'll blow out this level of ground too, so he'll drop all the way to the ground floor. And might also hurt the other guy. Throwing grenade. If I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. I hope I'm not, because if I'm not, this will be great. Boom, yes! Get wrecked. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Because that damn near killed the mech and almost and did kill the other guy too, which is amazing too. And now we have floating debris because, you know, why the fuck not? Okay, that actually worked uh, very well. I'd almost say that worked better than I was hoping for, but... No, it worked basically about as well as I hoped. <laughs> Works about worked about as well as I as, as I could have hoped. Really? Um Can you still shoot him? You can. Oh good. Good. Okay, yeah, go for it. That wasn't enough to kill it, but that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Why you ask? Because I believe that the other sniper here should basically be able to do the same thing. He should be able to shoot you with his pistol, kill the mech. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, uh... Yeah, whale him. Yeah, it didn't critical. I was hoping that it would critical and might maybe even kill him, even though it normally wouldn't. And kill the mech. Because the mech is a major danger and needs to be killed. Because of, primarily because of its, uh, its AoE grenades. If it had decided to use its grenades, it would have been 
potentially possible that it could have killed... Uh, that it could have used his grenades and killed the, uh... Well, I guess it wouldn't have killed him, but could have hurt the... Uh... Apparently... Really? You can rupture on this guy? Well, that don't even make sense, but... Whatever. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, this this just shoot that dude in the face. Murder him. Murderate him. Which lets you go into Overwatch. So. Uh, wildly, no. No. No, wildly. You're not going to do whatever crazy shit apparently you think you might want to do. Uh, I don't remember what the rank insignias are. You're definitely a sergeant, though, so you need experience. You have already moved. You do have, yeah, you do have Blade Master, which means you'll do basically the same amount of damage. Six to eight. Oh, actually, you do more damage with your sword. Yeah. Okay. Well then. Uh, okay. What's over there? In that case, we'll send you out here. Have you shoot this dude in his face? Hi. How you doing? Are you fucking back. shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, whatever. Dodge this bitch. Really? Really? At least stunned, so at least there's that, but... <laughs> really? <laughs> oh god. Sometimes this game. Sometimes... This game. Oh, You shitty me. I do have concealed, so I could... Stupid use of it though. Nah, I won't. That's just a stupid use of it. Order's confirmed. That would just be stupid. I'm not gonna do that. That would just be stupid. I won't do it. Well, he's stunned actually, so this is not. This is not that big of a deal, I don't think. I'll move you here. Yes, you'll be flanked by the fucking dude, but fuck that, I don't care. He's stunned, so he shouldn't actually be able to do anything. In theory, anyway. Yeah, he's still stunned. So you didn't even... You didn't even wake up that turn. You're still out for the count. What is going on? Where did the guy go? Shouldn't you have been able to see him from, the, from where you were? Mm. I'm on the move. Call a degree of bullshit on that. Open the door. Hi. Ooh, oh, really? Nobody, 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 uh. Nobody to be found, huh? Okay. Well then. Where did this dude's face off? Hi. Bye. Thanks for coming. That's Don't come back. Right. This is our house. You were not invited to our house. Oh, uh, okay. Can't go that way. <laughs> Never mind. We're not going that way. Because that way is nothing but a giant fucking crater in the, gra in the uh, building. Seriously, that, that actually did more damage than I thought it would do. Which is good, mind you, in this particular instance, at least. This is a good thing. This is not something I'm actually going to complain about. What are, what are you guys doing? Oh shit, don't tell me. No, no, we should be safe from that. I was gonna say, don't tell me there might be faceless in this mission, because I'd be pissed. But, nah, should be fine. Should be fine on that one. Should be fine on that particular note. Okay, uh... 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 I 
I don't know where these guys are. We know there was two... I think it was two snakes over here. And, of course, the shield guy. I don't know where the fuck any of those guys are now. Because apparently I can't see them where I'm at. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I think maybe it's better if you just stay put for the moment, anyway. Moving to position. At least for the moment, it might be better if you don't go anywhere. I'm on it. Just move the snipers up. Just move the snipers up to here. They shouldn't actually be able to see anything from there because they're not right on the edge. So they shouldn't end up awakening or triggering anybody that I don't want triggered until such time as I'm ready for them. Hello, uh, but they should be able to. Get repositioned fairly quickly to be able to accomplish something, at least. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, you are way out of position because the entire... Okay, all the shot. main uh, assault teams, basically, are not where they need to be to do anything with all that. So all action points already spent this turn. Bad. Not bad. Getting control of a random enemy. Also not bad. That's a low chance to succeed, though. This could be pretty good, but... Honestly, 62%. Oh, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. If that was a shot, I would take it. The problem is... Um, the bonus that it gives to the enemies, I don't know is worth it. For me to risk it not working because <laughs> if it doesn't work I would be in trouble so I don't think that's worth that was interesting you kicked open the door that was already open apparently. apparently you kicked the door open that was already open congratulations I hope you feel special because you clearly are I don't necessarily mean in a good way. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't want to do this, but... Standing fast. Oh no, 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 no. Don't see him. Please don't see him. Oh. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, no, they're still a long ways away. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I was thinking line of sight. But they're not even close. Not even close to you. On uh, that is actually a pretty significant force. Um, yeah, that is a pretty significant force. Okay, so it looks like. It looks like so. we are safe to move to here without triggering them, because the building is in the way, number one. And number two, uh, I think they're just too far away from where you are, are to be triggered, I hope, at least. I'm, not, I'm going to move them up to where they can all go into pistol overwatch, because that will be useful to me, just in general. And then, on your order. I think we just move the rest of you forward. Oh, Scanning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scanning your face. Uh. It's really no we're good to move you because you're not going to be in a, you're not going to be in position where I could actually do much with you. Uh, as things stand, no, 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 no. I want to be inside the building, not, uh, 
know that puts you outside the building. You don't want to be out there. It's not a place that I want to be. Not a place I want to be. I'm going to move okay, you right there to the doorway. Uh, it's not ideal, but it is unfortunately one of the better options, regardless. Got it covered. Uh, just to do that, then we're going to send you into the corner there. Because the corner should keep you pretty safe. Oh, it's terrible positioning, but I can't probably do anything really useful with you no matter where I put you, so. I guess just do that. Padding art. I do want you somewhere where I can have you be able to see these guys, because I want to know what the hell they're doing. Uh, let's see, the problem is, if they come forward, chances are they'll reveal you if you're there. But if I move you there, or there, which would be better? Uh, you may not uh, be able to see them at all. Where you are right, where they are right now, and I want to know where the hell they go. And unfortunately, I don't think there's anywhere else I can really move you. That's going to be accomplish all of the goals that I want. Well, all right, you can go back into hiding if we need if needs to. If you do get revealed, it's probably better that you're able to fight uh, and make yourself at least mildly useful than not. So, ooh, that almost killed the uh, arrow. It's actually good. It's unfortunate that they. Uh, we can actually kill him, but it did next to nothing. It did slightly better, but still. Nice! Did that kill him? No. Almost. Almost. Alright, face off would actually not be a necessarily a bad option here. Face off is actually probably a really good option here. Because it'll probably kill that guy, assuming you can hit him anyway. And. will hurt the others, potentially at least. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't think that it necessarily matters. Bam. Unfortunately, you missed him. That was the guy I really wanted you to hit, but oh well. I suppose all his fails, you can easily flank him, so that's not necessarily a bad move. Uh, not very good shot. Right, I think we're better off with just shooting here. What's a dead eye look like? Terrible is what a dead eye looks like. Terrible is what a dead eye looks like. Damn it. Uh, can you toss a grenade over on this dude and say hello? It's not necessarily a bad idea. It actually might kill him too. Maybe. It's below him. Is there anything below him? It doesn't look like there's shit below him. So that actually might kill him because it would do a fair bit of damage, and it would drop him all the way to the ground, which is quite some distance from where he is. Alright, I like that. I like that. Bye-bye. Enjoy the fall. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, it went poorly. That's how it went. <laughs> well, it's one guy down. Uh, did that reveal the other one? No, it did not. That's unfortunate, but not unexpected. Not unexpected. Oh, and you can't shoot. Fan-fucking-tastic. I'm almost tempted to just launch a grenade in there and kill that guy because I don't want him to use his shield ability. On the other hand... Uh... Well... I was gonna say, on the other hand, I might be able to get more use out of somebody else. But 
questionable. Highly, highly questionable. Alright, I think if I can kill the muton if with one so. of you, uh, the our advanced guy there might be able to kill the one dude over there. Alright, so muton down. That's it. Good. That one human, is, his stance is concerning to me. Okay, where are you at? Can you do anything useful? Not especially. Not especially. You actually do less useful than I actually thought you could, now that I'm looking at it. Um... Well, on my way. I guess go there. It's not great, but might be able to kill that guy. Uh, which actually isn't going to help me that much. I was gonna say might be able to kill that guy, which might let me move you in. Uh, but. No. No, it won't. Because it's too far away. It's too far away. Okay, sword is not enough to kill him, and I think... Slash does 5 to 8. Yeah, so that's not going to kill you. Wait, you can see that guy? That's a terrible shot, but I'm surprised you can see him at all. Alright, well, whatever. Let's try and kill this dude with the... Uh, yeah. 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 Let's try and kill him with the sniper. That was fucking terrible. Damn it. That just fucked me up. That just fucked me up a lot. Here I right, go. Well, that's your best spot that you can go, really. I don't care about Maybe you being I spotted should... because you can recloak when necessary. When desired. Uh, no, I think we do the slash here then, because the slash is guaranteed to kill. Although, no, actually, maybe we do shoot, because. Fuck me, I should have slashed. I only scratched him. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I can blow your ass up if I need to. So we just do this. Kill him. Yes. Good. Good. Only the best. And you needed some ex uh, kills too, so that's actually perfect for me. Totally, 100% happy with that outcome. Well, maybe not 100%, but. You get the idea. Alright, we could just blow this dude up. Not necessarily opposed to that. Especially if he just sits there and does his shield. That really would be... That wouldn't be terrible too for me, but it wouldn't really be that great either. I could just suppress him, though. And he's not going to be able to do much other than use his shield. Problem is, um, he uses a shield. Not really going to be able to do a whole lot to him. Well, I guess I can still kill him. But really, you shot? Really? Okay. It's a little strange, but whatever works, I guess. 
actually didn't work at all for you. I don't know why you did that, but... Uh... Can you just sword this dude? Yeah. Okay. Why did you just do that? Because that removes the dude, and nobody else is really in a position to be able to do shit to him, so... Yeah. How many is that noise? We didn't drop loot, so that actually tells me that there's more people. Which I would have rather there wasn't, but I'm not surprised about there being more people, mind you. In fact, if anything, I would have been more surprised if there wasn't, but let's have you reload. We're not in combat right this turn. Overwatch. We need to get the other people moved up. Because we are not in exactly the most useful positioning for our progress. We do still have 10 turns, so we're not exactly in immediate danger of losing or anything, but we do need to get moving. I probably should have you reload. Let's do this! Because not having ammo is bad. <laughs> you definitely need to reload, you absolutely have no choice. So it's probably better that you reload and then just overwatch because you just need to hunker. Okay. Okay. Now we select you. We will seal. And I run you Good to go. all the fucking way over there. Lucky you already broke that window. So you could go through without triggering anything. And you should be able to just run right on top of the roof there. The only problem, potential problem, being if there's anything in this building, which we can see partially, and there isn't what, from where we can see, so we might be fine. Overwatch. It's probably enemies on the roof, but if we are positioned... Um, that help, push really comes to shove, I can position myself in such a way that I can run everybody onto the roof all at once. And be just fine. Which means I need to... Uh, probably... Position everybody over here. And then we can just jump onto the roof and we'll be, we'll be out. Uh, so I guess... I need to pull the snipers off the roof. No, I don't really want to do that, but... Getting it done! If that's what we're going to try to do, it's best to do it now, when I know, with at least a relative degree of safety, that we are not going to just get immediately murdered uh, the second we move. Just overwatch, because God only knows what might, what could happen. You should be fine, but you never know. Okay, move again with you. Uh, I can see in the part of this building, but I'm going to send you there. I was considering sending you all the way over there, but that would reveal more of the building that I haven't uh, already revealed. The person that I really don't want to do something like that with, so. Yeah. About that. Move, move, okay, I'm move. gonna run you, it's kinda risky, but. But it's not really risky. Covering. You can see everything. You can see everything in the area, so it's not that serious, but it is. A slight risk. A slight risk. Right, probably better to trigger them now if there is enemies on the roof. What else? So I will know what to do about them. Uh, uh, okay, go there. Okay, so we should be clear to get everybody on the roof. 
fact, it looks like I can even run a good chunk of the people up there right now. Not everybody, because you guys are a freaking mile away, but... Affirmative. I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna try to look for other enemies to fight, because again, if we take any losses in this mission, it could be potentially have long-term serious ramifications. On it. So we cannot afford to take those kind of risks for no reason. We can take those risks if we have a purpose for them, but uh, right now there would be no reason, so let's not do that. Let's not do that, shall we? I think I'd rather not. Okay, need to get you up here. In fact, I can just extract you, so I'm gonna do so. And double time. All right, so nobody's on Overwatch, so this could be a problem, but shouldn't really be that serious. VIP is out. This is Oop, gone. VIP is secure. And no, I don't want to back you because I want to make Heads sure up, that. Uh oh. Oh, well, they are in the building. Interesting. Interesting. No I guess that'll be okay. Now I wonder if the enemy would potentially move That's affirmative. Uh toward me. Not a problem. Uh, since they are, in fact, got it inside the building, I wonder if they would move. Um, if they'll come after me now that the VIP is gone. Out of here. I don't know if they would, but it's not I'm totally not here. worth trying to find Just out. In so. time. Vamos. Because again, Just in time. I'm gone. casualties in this level would be very bad. Because I'm already short of people. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah, so we missed three guys, but that's perfectly fine. I am okay with that. I have no reason to kill those three soldiers. Sure, it'd be more experience, but it's also more risk. And right now, we can't afford that risk. If we had a bunch of people healthy back at base and we could field multiple full groups, sure. But we can't, so no. Right, dealt most damage with Wild Child, sure. Made most attacks with Firewall, most of the Fire Hunter, and proof who for this is Wildling, because it's always Wildling, because he's a scout. It's a fucking job. <laughs> I think it's Firewall that made the most attacks. It's probably the guy who has the uh, face off, because he made three attacks in that one turn, which is probably like the most everybody else made in the entire, ba the entire mission. An impressive face performance, off Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. Fortunately, I don't think anyone leveled, which is a little bit of a problem. But okay, so you have done You were another engineer, the which is huge. Commander. We're getting thin on yeah, manpower. I'm Commander. aware of that. That's we should the check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. That is the problem. Um. Now, do I? Here's the thing. Do I assign people to this to try to clear this out quicker, or do I have you start clearing out another one? I think I have you start clearing out another one. I think that's the better option. Yeah, I think that's the better option. Because this, when this finishes, is going to be too... Two gremlins and a guy. We can easily put the uh, the guy up here with you. The two gremlins can go here if I really want them to. Uh, although I guess we'll probably need to. Uh, no, no, no. We can we can we can rip this gremlin off of here and put it in this power relay, 
We can destroy this power relay and replace it with something more useful. And... Yeah. Okay. That's, that's how this is gonna work. Uh... Resistance contacts. What the fuck does that mean? Resistance contacts. I don't know what that even means. What the hell is resistance contacts? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Welcome, Commander. If I knew what that meant, I would be tempted to pro to try and do something with it, but I don't. So I don't know that that's... Avenger plotting new course. Oh no, actually, you know what? I need... Never mind. I lied. I lied because... Well, actually, let me check. Did I lie? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We need... <laughs> We need the uh, faster building. This is cool and all, but I need the uh, faster building from the HQ. Well, I really want to know what the hell this is. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna. I want to find out what this is. Uh, actually, before I do, before I do this any further, hold on, hold on. He has not made a save since coming back to the uh, over map here. So we need to do that. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching yeah, yeah, yeah. it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against okay. the aliens over progress. the Good. past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead Fair to further money. success. We do have quite a while before these go off, so that's cool. Uh, that's not really a problem. It's not great, but it's not really that big a problem. I have a shit ton of intel, but it's probably not worth revealing right now. Eventually, maybe, but not right the second. I want to know what this is. I want to know what the hell resistance contacts even fucking means. Oh, is it increase? Does it increase the number of contacts I can have? Oh yeah, that's what it means. Okay. Actually, that's, that's pretty cool, actually, so... Alright. Yeah, I'll take it. That's worth it. Uh, I do need supplies, so we need to go get those, and then we need to get back to building because we really, really need to get this done. We need the the. Okay, so there's the people coming off of medical leave, which is important. Force for sector five, India. We are going to fly back here, and we're going to sit here. Welcome, uh, let's check out what do we got? Scientists? I mean, that's not bad, but not. Not really that useful. You're just a specialist, but not really that concerned about. Yeah, I don't care. See, this gorilla, this gorilla op thing here is. Potentially interesting, but I don't know that's necessarily worth the maximum work power right now. consumption reached. Alright, so that's that. Obviously, we need a power relay here. There's no, nothing else that you would even initiated. consider building here. No, I want to assign a gremlin here. Not one of my engineers. Okay, can I go back, please? Thank you. And then here, I want to assign the other person, the other actual person. And then here, we're going to assign the other gremlin. There we go. Cool. All right. So once that relay is finished, um, which we need to get done asap, that is more important really than anything else we have going on. Uh. That should help us out a lot.
dead shot would actually not be bad, but I don't know that I necessarily want to do that right now. Uh, Warfare Center. Oh wait, that's not nothing that we can do with there. Uh, we are going to have Illyrium research in two days. Alright, I don't think we have anything else that I need to really fiddle with right now. Oops, that is not what it was. Let's go bridge. Progress! Please give me the research. Sure oh yes, the everybody's recovering from wounds. Good. Alright, Illyrium finished. Having completed our analysis of the substance, tentatively referred to as Illyrium 115, it's clear that this material is unlike any other naturally occurring element on Earth. Presumably, the aliens extracted their undoubtedly extensive stores of Illyrium from another planet, but that is beyond my capacity to surmise. What I do know with certainty is that this element is incredibly reactive when exposed to high energy particle fields, providing a source of nearly limitless power that defies all known efficiency standards. Unfortunately, I see no means of replicating or resynthesizing this substance with the resources available to us on Earth. The materials we cover from the aliens themselves will likely constitute the entirety of our available stockpile. The commander will have to be careful in choosing how to locate these precious resources. Our Tigan. This is cool because it unlocks the Illyrium conduit, which allows the uh, power thing to produce a lot more power, and lets us unlock plasma rifles and powered armor, which is uh, fucking amazing. Both of those things. Amazing. Hugely, hugely important. Uh, I am... I don't remember precisely what the shield bearer does, but I don't think that gives me anything I care that much about. Uh, Berserker gives me something I could care less about. The mech is useful, the viper is useful. Data cache isn't really that important right now because we've got a shit ton of intel already. Okay, I think I'm gonna research the Viper. Although I would because expect this, to be. Although I can't actually do anything with it yet, so I don't. Eh, I'll do it anyway. Work well, well, no. Way, no. No. The Mac I could do something with, I think. Yeah, the Mac I could do something with. The Viper I can't, because the Viper requires the uh, approving grounds for the, what it unlocks to be used, and we don't have approving grounds yet, and won't for a little bit still, so that's not probably worth the effort. Plasma Rifle would be huge. I think I'm just going to get the mech. Breakdown, because that these is robotic useful. units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Well, yeah, I'll ensure that this new project takes highest priority, Commander. Okay. Once we have something to That's report, useful. I'll notify you immediately. Alright, so Kelly has now finished her training, so she's unlocked stasis. And continue training. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own psi operatives can tap into that same power. Indeed, and it is hugely, hugely valuable. Alright, Soulfire is amazing, Domination is also amazing, and Null Lance is pretty good too. Um, I think we go with Domination, because Domination is just so fucking powerful that you don't even, you don't really understand how powerful it is until you have a chance to actually use it. <laughs> it is huge. It's mind control, basically, but you permanently take control of an enemy. Uh, but you can only do it once. Permission. Succeed at it once. Permission, anyway. But you permanently take control of an enemy, which is just amazing. Huge and hugely important. Uh, we do need a second cell, but unfortunately we can't do that until we have more power. Um, it's also less critically important right now. Flash uh, Jane Kelly here 
is one of my main people that I finished the game with. Uh, she was my head uh, ranger, and she was also the one that I trained with all of the commander skills, which you haven't seen yet because I, don't, I have not had the power or really the resources to build the uh, commander training thing, uh, which is one of the mods that was released on day one by the Lawn War people. Um, but she was the one who I trained in all of those, and she was a ranger, so she was she was pretty capable and really did a lot for me. Uh, but this time we're gonna go with a psyop with her because I need a psyop. So you've been elected. Uh, we do need not that. I do need to get the advanced psyop. It's actually pretty critical. So I might Commander. see if we can do that. Mm, what am I missing? Illyrium crystals. We might be able to get Illyrium crystals from the... Uh, from the black market. Avenger Let's go see what the black course. market has for us. The Avenger does move faster now. It's from one of the mods, slash, um, possibly one of the upgrade, the, uh, the patch, but we've got a shit ton of intel to burn, so this is probably worthwhile to get. These fucking rush research things are fucking useless. Um... Another scientist, I mean, it would be nice, but not really that important. Supplies, always useful. Uh, I could use them, I guess. I do have quite a bit of intel. Let me check something before, we, before I go do that. No, no, no. Wait, excuse me, what? What? what was that? Roddy and God. What the hell was that? What did I just fail to do that I might have that might have been useful to me? <laughs> Uh, 160 intel, Jesus. That's because I need to build a radio tower, actually. Uh, which takes... 100 supplies. Ugh. Still, uh, even if you look at it, if you look at it that way, that's 100 supplies. It basically gives us cuts the uh, the intel it takes to do that uh, to unlock the net, that other area in half uh, because and we would make out a little bit on supplies so that is that's worth doing and then we do need delirium crystals because that's basically the whole reason I fucking flew up here and yeah it might also be worth coming through here and selling a few additional things. I don't need stun lancers, for example, and you actually want a lot of them right now, so it actually might be useful to me to sell them all. I can get more stun lancers later. They're really not that useful to me. Uh, I do need mechs. I do need berserkers. I do need shield bearers because I need. I'm trying to. I want to get enough of them that it unlocks the instant research if possible. I don't believe I need Newton corpses, but I shouldn't sell them. I do need Viper corpses, and I do need Faceless for the one thing. I don't need Officer corpses anymore, they are useless to me. I might want Trooper corpses, maybe. 
Eh, it's still just me for every chunk of additional money. Alright. No, you goddammit, I did not. Whatever the hell I just clicked on, I did not mean to do that. That was a waste of time for no reason. I don't want to do that. Setting course yeah. for the Indian don't, don't regional do zone. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. I don't want it. I don't want to do it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Huh. I have two contacts that I can make, is the thing. So, I think we take... I don't know, I think I decided I wanted Eastern. I want to go through Europe. So I think we take this, and then the other piece of Europe, and that will actually let me jump across the ocean here. To take that. So that'll be my two contacts here, and then we upgrade the thing once we have more power, and that'll let us get these. Okay. That's how we're going to do that. But we need some stuff built before we can do all, any of this. So... I will pass time here with my speed bonus. Alright, so another engineer. And retaliation counter is the worst of the two that I know about. So that would not be bad at all. Supplies. That's good, but that dark event I could care less about. And this one, I, as a scientist, I actually could use more scientists. Because uh, that research time for those things that I care about is really long. And that would cut it a little bit. I do have... I'm pretty comfortable, actually, with the amount of engineers I have now. Really. So... Eh? Let's find out what this is. How much adult do I have now? 240. That's actually not as much as I so before, but nevertheless. More enemies to every mission for a month. That can be good and bad. Alright, I think uh, I think we're gonna do that one. Because the scientists be useful and that show of force thing is Eh, kind of nasty so we're gonna do that i think i will see you folks next time uh thank you for watching this of course has been xcon 2 and i have been falcon your host like and subscribe if you enjoy my stuff and i will see you in the next episode take it easy folks have a good day and thank you thank you for watching there's my troops you see some of them are still wounded but most of them are available now so yay i'll see you later bye bye folks <laughs>